Hi everyone! So I just wanted to share with you all that um, I was very, very lucky enough to attend the Rebecca Campbell seminar or workshop in London yesterday. Um, it was called You Are the Oracle and um, it was an amazing day. Uh, the room was full of so many um, inspiring women and men that were there to kind of um, soul search and basically be able to tune into their soul self to discover their soul plan for the future. Um, and I, I do think that I gained a lot from yesterday and I feel like with experiences like this that just how powerful the experience was it doesn't necessarily hit you until the aftermath when you've had time to reflect and process what you actually experienced so it's an amazing day I went with my good friend very talented and beautiful friend Jo from the Tree of Life Holistics in Rugby um, so it's something we really wanted to do together we're both um, admirers of Rebecca Campbell and her teaching um, and her books and most importantly her oracle cards, the Work Your Light oracle cards. Uh, so the workshop was called, as I said, You Are the Oracle, like it says in her Work Your Light oracle cards box. So the day consisted of meditation, chanting and journaling and um, tuning into your inner guidance and that was through intuitive reading for each other, working in pairs and through giving card readings for one another too. Um, I personally think I got the most out of the intuitive and card reading tasks uh, but that's probably because um, oracle cards and listening to my intuition are what I like to do so yeah it was it was really quite something um, so I was also very fortunate enough to meet Rebecca and she was kind enough to sign my oracle cards so I now have personalised work your light oracle cards here with her lovely signature on the front and she also signed my books so her amazing Light is the New Black. Um, there we go. And also her first book, which was Rise Sister Rise. And uh, there we have it. Her other signature there. So as um, I was at the Rebecca Campbell workshop yesterday, I thought it would be great to do a Work Your Light Oracle card reading for you all. Uh, before I do that, um, I thought I'd like to take the opportunity to pick a card from the Gabrielle Bernstein um, deck, The Universe Has Your Back. Uh, I've, I've only recently bought these cards, um, but I thought it would be cool as a way to start off. And inside it says, uh, you are the dreamer of your dream as well, which I think is a really, really lovely phrase. So here we have the cards. So I've cleansed them, so I'm just going to shuffle them. You'll notice that I am filming in landscape today. I'm really sorry. I have been filming in portrait, but... Um, I realise that for those that are trying to view the video on YouTube, it's not um, as clear as when you film in landscape. My intention was always to keep the video short, but sadly uh, the videos have been <laughs> running over 10 minutes, which is the cutoff point for loading to Instagram. So um, to make it easier, I thought I'd uh, film in landscape today. So what message has the universe got for us this evening? OK, 
Okay, so it says, the key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. So it's basically saying to pray, but don't kind of have any set in stone form in which you want to receive something. So it's the universe's way of saying basically be open to the help that comes, be open to the solution that comes. Sometimes we can be very specific about what it is that we want and as a result the universe might be trying to manifest the solution but because we've been so precise in what we want the universe is unable to deliver that solution so it's basically be more open to help and abundance in all of its forms. I think that's a really great way of starting tonight's reading. Uh, so the work your light oracle cards I have here so I'm going to give them a shuffle so uh, they've already been cleansed um, Joe and I had to work in pairs there's one already uh, yesterday at the workshop and do a reading for each other oh gosh they're jumping up tonight and um, the cards that we got were really spot on for both of us and I'll share those with you um, in just a moment as well. These cards are quite jumpy tonight, but... Oh. So two had already came, but... Oh, I keep getting the number four in my head. So I'm going to pick four this evening. Okay, so the first card is Sisterhood of the Rose. Beauty and devotion, priestess, mystic, teacher. So this is really kind of apt for... <laughs> Um, the workshop yesterday at Gathering of Sisters and the Sisterhood of the Rose is an ancient practice where women of the community would get together um, and basically do healing work for the good of not only their community but on a global basis too. Um, so are you being encouraged to work within groups of gatherings of women? Um, if so, you're being encouraged to step forward. You are a priestess, a mystic and a teacher. It's time for you to take that step and lead. I can't tell you how powerful this card is for me because it just kind of reinforces a conversation I had with uh, my friend Joe earlier on today. So amazing. And I just love the image on this card as well. It's just stunningly beautiful. The next card is the Age of Light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. So it's a nice follow on to the first card. Um, and it's basically saying that all of the lifetimes that you've experienced, whether they've been in, um, on Earth or in other star systems or other realms, all of that experience, all that knowledge that you have deep within you is ancient knowledge that needs to be shared. And it's now time for you to do that. Um, so if you're being called to um, teach, start your own business, heal, um, do creative projects, whatever it is that you're being called to do, you're being asked to do it. And it's the age of light. So you're a light worker, you're a light being, and you will meet other like-minded beings that have the same vision and that value the work that you do. The next card is Awakening, Energetic Upgrades, A New Way of Being, Integration. So it might be that you are embarking on a spiritual journey within at the moment that um, you are kind of more in tune with yourself than ever before. Uh, that you um, are on a spiritual path, that 
you've got a whole entire new lifestyle that you're trying to adapt. Maybe it's um, a lifestyle change such as diet or exercise, or maybe it's um, changing your job. So complete transition um, from what um, you've been doing for quite some time. Maybe it, maybe it's the fact that you've outgrown what was once familiar. Um, and your values no longer are an energetic match for where you are in your life. Um, so you might also be feeling um, particularly sensitive to um, the moon cycles. Um, it was the moon in Scorpio recently. Um, so a very, very emotional time for us. So I myself had quite an emotional moment today and I think it was the cleansing of what I went through in terms of um, soul searching yesterday um, and releasing the pent up emotion. Um, but I'm hoping that that's just clearing the way for something new to come in. And I think that's what this card is about as well, awakening to your own truth. And the last card is the initiation. So rite of passage you're going somewhere sacred um, and Rebecca teaches about the initiation processes in our lives that the initiation process can be really tough um, you know it's not something that's easy it's not an easy journey um, it's challenging um, but this challenge is required for you to end up in a better place um, so it may be that um, because you can see that in this image here you've got lightning in the sky and it's all really dark but then there's this doorway of light so walking through the darkness there is light at the end of the tunnel that all that will eventually make sense and um, you will realize um, why this initiation was necessary in your life to get you to where you need to be so the fact that you're going through this initiation means that um, it's kind of practice um, to gain the strength and courage to where you're going. Um, where is your end destination? Is it something that is completely out of your comfort zone? Does that, you know, scare you? The fact that you could potentially completely change your life, but this transformation could be the best thing you've ever done. Um, and something that you wish you'd done sooner if you'd had the courage. So take courage and keep going along on your journey. Everything will make sense in the end. So those are the cards for this week. The two that Joe drew for me yesterday were these. So the first one was Leap. You go first, the universe will catch you. So it's all about taking that leap of faith, taking that jump. And what was really interesting is during our intuitive exercise, my soul self was saying, you need to climb a mountain. And I thought it meant climb a mountain as in hike a mountain, <laughs> which is really not kind of the thing that I'd ever want to do, partly because I'm terrified of heights. Um, so I was just like, what, what does that mean? And then this card came up and look, look, the girl has climbed the mountain and she's taken that leap of faith. She's taken that jump. Um, her soul has left the body. The physical body is still waiting to catch up. So it's like your soul is one step ahead of you and it's waiting for you to kind of catch up, um, on your human level. And then the second card she picked for me was, uh, the great gathering. Again, there's mountains in the background as well. And this is very apt for the work that we're doing with ladies at the Red Tent at the moment. So it's all coming together, intuitive hits, soul tribe. Um, so um, I think it's um, asking me to kind of do more group work, um, connecting with others um, and perhaps do more workshops. So this is something I'm gonna be looking at in the new year and try and manifest. So there we go, those are the readings of the week. I hope they make sense to you. Um, 
One thing that Rebecca taught us yesterday was a nice way of holding the space for each other. So um, it's just a simpler practice of putting your hands together in prayer position, lifting your hands up in that position above your head, and then just doing this around us. Um, and we did that as a whole group within the room yesterday. Um, and it's just a really nice, simple step um, to hold the space, but you can do that in reverse when you're closing the space as well. So, and then obviously take a bow at the end and you can say namaste if you want to. Uh, so that is my way of closing and also I just wanted to say, in the words of Rebecca Campbell, rise sister rise, rise sister rise, rise for you, rise for me. When you rise first, you rise for she. And that goes for all the brothers as well out there. Uh, so with that, I'm going to bid you farewell and I will catch up with you all very, very soon. Take care. Have a great week.